last time on Dragon Ball Super Reaction. No fu- No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, oh! wait, wait, oh! wait. Oh! wait. No, 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 no way! No, no, they do fusion! It's not, no, 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 no. I can't still believe what they showed off in the preview. And I'm still in complete shock that we're actually getting a new fusion. But looking at everything and how everything's been kind of going on and pacing itself and leading into this very moment, we are about to get, for the first time, a female fusion. What's going on guys, your boy Uchi, and I just wanted to get my thoughts out there to you guys on how I feel and what I think about the proclaimed Kefla. Or it might actually be official, but I don't follow spoilers, so please do not include anything that might lead into anything that they've already spoiled in the future episodes of Dragon Ball Super or anything like that. But from what I can tell from this character, she's going to be what gets these girls to go Super Saiyan 3. And it literally makes perfect sense. Looking back to my reaction with my boys H2 and Whitey White, especially with H2 and his theory that they had Goten and Trunks see Goku go Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. Now we're seeing Kale and Califla looking at Goku going Super Saiyan 3 for their first time seeing it. And that is how they get the idea and they figure, you know what, let's work together, let's combine, let's fuse, and that's how we'll unlock that third level of Saiyan so early on. I mean, Goten and Trunks probably knew how to go Super Saiyan for a little bit longer than these two have, but they're just the more updated, more genius versions of what we're used to. I mean, these girls are literally going crazy with how fast they are ascending. And the reason why it's going to happen, and going back to what we were talking about in the reaction, they are trying to give Goku something to trigger Ultra Instinct, and he needs something or someone strong enough to do so, to basically put him in that near-death situation, so that way it reawakens within him or something happens, and then bam, Ultra Instinct Goku Again, once again. Looking at it now, and yes, I'm aware all of you guys have been telling me in the comments, it's going to be Patara Fusion. That's kind of almost anticlimactic, but at the same time, it definitely makes for good use in the sense that it's quick, it's very accessible, and I'm pretty sure these earrings are going to be taken from their own Universe 6's Supreme Kai, which you can see he got the same jaws on his ears. How are they going to go about this? My guess is that Goku is going to come up with the idea and he's going to pitch it to Zeno. And Zeno is going to grant him the permission to allow them to take the Supreme Kai earrings and use them to Patara Fusion and bam, we got Kafla. I'm pretty sure that because of this fusion, they are going to be able to go Super Saiyan 3. My question to everyone now is, will Super Saiyan 3 be it? Will that be the bar? Will that be the limit that they can reach together? Or will they just throw us another curveball and will they ascend even farther? Because remember, Goku did tease a little bit extra when he said, wow, at the rate you guys are going, you might ascend even further beyond of Super Saiyan 3. Who's to say he's referring to Super Saiyan God, or Super Saiyan Blue, or even Ultra Instinct? Yep, I took it there. Are you f kidding me? So I'll take that with a grain of salt. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the Discord, especially on the Discord. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. You can talk to me about this while I'm playing some games. And support the boy, support the boy on the Patreon page. And make sure to follow me on the rest so we can watch some other animes together live and react. And I'll see y'all next time.